There are nine ways to dine at Sandia Resort and Casino, and joining us today in our Builder Source Kitchen is Mike Christensen, chef de cuisine of Thurshawn Buffet. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you. We went from ice cream to a totally different genre of food right now, and I'm actually really excited. But before we get to the food okay. itself, tell us a little bit about Thurshawn Buffet. Thurshawn Buffet is a buffet that's in Sandia Casino uh -huh. Resort. And we serve a lot of different themed foods. Mm -hmm. And one of the themed foods that we have here today is a Vietnamese style food that we started at Action Station on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights. And we do an Action Station where we cook the soup fresh in front of everybody. They come mm -hmm. through and we make it for them. They could add their own ingredients to the bowl. How fun. And it's kind of a, you know, interaction part with the guests as they come through. That's great. You know, there's really not a lot of places that you can get really good Vietnamese food here. So I'm glad to hear that we have one now. And, right. and what are some of the key ingredients that we could find as far as spices and different things that go normally in Vietnamese food? Um, after we, before when we build the stock, mm -hmm. we have coriander, oh. uh, batamin seeds, uh, star anise, cinnamon, ginger root goes in whole. That's part of the stock and beef bones that we simmer for 12 hours wow. to make the stock. So when you come through and get your bowl, get a bowl kind of like this. You get fresh cilantro, jalapenos if you want spicy, fresh mm. Thai basil, limes to squeeze in there, a little bit of onions in there to put in there. Then you can garnish with hoisin sauce and then sriracha sauce. How yummy. And so. ginger root is really good, actually, for your digestive system, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I, I have to say, of course, with all these vegetables around, my eye keeps going to the noodles because I'm the starch girl. So yes. that looks delicious. Yes. And they're just, they're a special kind of noodles. They're, they're huh? a rice noodle. Yes, they're oh, a rice noodle. They're so good. So what are you going to make for us today? Um, a bowl called Vietnamese soup. It's called pho. Okay. And we put sliced pho? beef, pho. Okay. And we put sliced beef in it, it becomes pho thai. And that's what, and the beef is raw, and the hot broth cooks the beef, so it's medium rare when you get it to your Ooh, table. And that's really the way you should eat it anyway. And I want to also mention before we get to cooking that you actually bring it, listen to this, tons of Alaskan snow crab every week for the buffet and the Sunday brunch. That's really exciting to me. What other kind of stations could we find at the buffet? Um, we have a Mexican station, we do South Ameri uh, Southwestern food. Nice. Uh, American station where we do rotisserie foods. Um, we carve beef, prime rib, mm. carve chickens. We do a lot of things there. The James Douglas Show, while they're setting up the, the food, are, they're getting very hungry. They're setting up the music, <laughs> you're setting up the food, and they're yep. right salivating. Yep. So let's enough. start cooking. Let's show everybody what okay. you got over here because this looks delish. Okay, so what happens is the soup is hot, mm -hmm. where we have a spoon somewhere. Here? Yes, here's a spoon. A spoon. Yeah. Here it is. You got a big spoon? Oh, yeah. yeah. I was going to give him a tasting spoon because that's okay. all I know is about tasting. So the soup is very, very hot. Okay. When they garnish it, they put a little bit of onions on top. Is that what I'm smelling? It smells yeah, so good. Yes, so good. Uh, a little bit of sliced beef. That's rare. Really fresh, huh? You really get all your fresh. ingredients. I mean, that's the thing I always like to ask about the, the actual fresh. ingredients, how you keep them so fresh. We get them fresh from Thailand when we come in. So we, we do go to Thailand. A little bit of garnish to make it kind of look nice for, nice. Your, for your plate. Okay. Then your bowl is so huge <sighs> that they, they call these small bowls when you go to a real Vietnamese restaurant. They call these small? <laughs> these are small. <laughs> so then nice. you put the, the hot soup in there as a broth. Now, so. you said people can actually go on and they can pick out their own ingredients, so they can kind of do, this is kind of like a yeah. do-it-yourself meal? it's a do-it-yourself bowl of soup. Nice. After you get this, this part is what you'll get Okay. with all this part that's in there. And it actually... Pretty simple. Pretty simple. And this part is where they do it themselves. Okay. They'll put cilantro or um, jalapeno slices in there. They'll pe peel the basil, the fresh basil pieces in there. Delicious. That goes in there. You know, and a lot of these ingredients I love, but I necess wouldn't necessarily think of combining them together. Yep. I don't always think of basil lime, with jalapeno, and so that's nice. Lime, and then a couple pieces of cilantro peel off okay. and we leave it whole so that people have interaction with the food kind of peeling the food okay. and it's more traditional too when you go to the restaurant a Vietnamese restaurant they'll give it to you like a plate on the side with all the ingredients uh -huh. there then a little bit of hot sauce if you want hot it's New Mexico of course we do yeah you want a little spicy sriracha to go once around that we don't have and some hoisin sauce to what is that called again this is hoisin hoisin sauce hoisin sauce okay yep, it's kind of sweet and that's spicy and you have a spoon that goes with it. Yeah, I love these spoons. I don't know what it is about these spoons. <laughs> and the chopsticks. So now, okay, do you do you have a specific way? Because I never know the, the delicate protocol. I, as a girl, I try to be quite a lady when I eat, you know. But sometimes with these noodles, no. it gets all over the place. So what's, what's the easiest way? Because you know you can't get them up on the spoon. There's no way. And then with the chopsticks, they always, I mean, do you, you do just, like those commercials? Yep, you with do the like the commercials. Kids? You just pull them up a little bit of noodles, use your spoon on the bottom, mix it in because it's so hot. Okay, so I'm mixing it all up. Yep. 
So now, is this one of your favorite things personally? It is. It, it is, is one of my favorite things. Okay, wait. Before I be messy, I just want to taste the soup, and then we'll come back and taste more. But okay. I have to taste the the flavor because I want to see what the say it again. The hot ho oh, hoisin hoisin sauce. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's got a nice flavor. Yeah, I it's love very this good. flavor. Really yummy. Okay, wait, turn around. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna eat the noodles when we go to break because I think I'll make sure. too much of a mess otherwise. But Mike, tell everybody where you're located and how they can find you. Uh, we're in uh, in San Diego Casino Resort. Right. When you come in the back door where the hotel is, mm -hmm. part we're next to the concert room but, uh, restaurant. That's easy so enough. It's very easy. It's a fun place to be. It really yeah. is. And I'm so glad you came out today and showed us what you what you could do. And now we'll definitely come out and visit you, especially for those sure. Sunday brunches. Sounds sure. fabulous. All right. I'm going to eat a jalapeno. Should yeah, I do it? Sure. Ah. It's hot. We'll, we'll be right back with the James <laughs> Douglas Show. Don't go away.